Hi friends, today we are going to talk about some very important aspect of debugging like some of the system IDs, system uh, uh, fields that you can use for debugging. Okay, so first of all, I'll go into the, this is a simple standard, simple custom program that I have created. Okay, and uh, here in the custom program, what I have done, I have put a breakpoint here in loop. Okay, and now I'll click execute. Okay, and here I'll click execute. Now here, the aspect that we are going to discuss is this variable called SY. Okay, so if you double click on this, SY tells you if you have database count, it tells you the number of entries that are there. And now, and in the internal table, and also there is another field that, there are other fields that you can use okay so here one very important aspects of these fields are you have a site equal so lots of times you might want to put a check that the enhancement or the piece of code will be only executed for a particular transaction code here lots of times you might also use site datum where you want to execute this piece of code only when the date is after this or before this. This very much happens for cutover activities and all those things. Okay. Sci U name, you shouldn't be using it, but lots of times you might have to use because you might want to say, okay, this enhancement should not be triggered for anything, any IDs that are background. Now that piece also you can use using Sci batch. Okay. So if the Sci batch is, is not is blank that means it's a dialog user but lots of times you can also do oh only for workflow related uh, users this check should not be there then you have the psi this is the time and then you have the other things now there's another piece that we that is also very essential if i go to the loop i'll just pass through this and i'll go again so here i will say there is a field site field which tells me the number of entries in the internal table. Then there is a thing called sci. Uh, let me go here, and there is the current entry. So it's the sci tabix, which is the current loop count. So if I click, if I click here, it will. So I put side tabix. Now it will show it's two because it's the second loop. So these are very important stuffs that you can say. Now suppose you have a requirement. Okay, so now I'll go into USR02 and I want to say that this thing should stop only when the this particular value, this V name is student25. So how how can I do that? So for this, what I'll be doing is I'll be creating a watch point. This is very important. So you click watch point, and here what you are going to do, you are going to put W A U S R zero two uh, B A. Okay, and we will say equals Does it stop so cannot create watch point error in condition but put u s r zero to e a equals okay free entry equals Free condition entries to condition variable on the true the value syntax is identical. Okay. Okay, so let's put close this. I think I can put equal and I put it. So you have to put the, the the quotation and now 
if you see currently it was in the watch point that we have put is for line 19 and it will stop there so i'll click on execute and now it says see watch point reach this so now you see it's 19 how we can make sure we just double click on it and here it is so we might have a logic that only for this particular value these things i want to see you can always go and check the debug so this is very very important creating a watch point okay lots of times also you want to create a watch point where you want to see when a particular value variable is getting um, its value from okay that is also very important so always use this okay lots of times you might say you have another requirement suppose okay here you have site abx okay so you can say okay i'll create another watch point create watch point and here i will say site abx equals okay i'll put 23 site abx will equals 23 i'll click and see now it has stopped the watch site the watch point reach is stopped so this is very very important so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great day